you can certainly see why these trucks of the 1950s are getting more popular every day. And this is one of the most popular ones. This is the Apache. 1959 and uh, there are a lot of unique things about this truck the main thing being this stainless trim on the rear bed this is the according to chevrolet sales document documents this is the replacement truck for the famous cameo that was introduced in 55 ran through 58 discontinued in 58 and then in 59 this was the replacement for the apache short wide bed that's the one everybody wants and of course with the big back glass uh, this is really a substantially original truck. A few upgrades, including the LED tail lights for safety and a few other mechanical upgrades to make it drive more modern and therefore be more safe. Just in general, a blast of a truck to own. All the glass is brand new, been replaced. Of course, really everything on this truck's been addressed. It's a completely restored truck, restored to be driven and to be enjoyed. Let's look inside and I'll show you some of the original features that were kept with the truck that allow its uh, originality and character to stay intact. Let's check it out. One of the features that I really like that's authentic and still the way it was from the factory in this truck is the floor starter, this button right next to the accelerator. What you do is you turn the key on, but that doesn't start the truck. Uh, you pump it and then you push this little button right here. And that's how you start this truck. Very cool, very 1959. Other features, really everything was kept correct and original. It has a correct original reproduction steering wheel, uh, correct original reproduction gauge cluster. That's a very expensive item, but a very important item. The dash has never been cut up for an aftermarket radio. It has the original radio in there. The fellow that inherited this truck that sold it to me said he thought it worked, but I don't know. It's not hooked up. I purchased an aftermarket custom fit radio that goes right in this hole. It's designed for this truck. And we have the aftermarket kick panel speakers. So you can update to a modern day sound and you don't have to change the dash or hurt anything at all and you still have your original radio. So that's a nice feature. Original heater uh, down below. Uh, carpet's been added. Carpet wasn't available in 59, but carpet makes a big difference in the truck. It's an insulating factor and it's just really, really nice to have and it's brand new. Who wouldn't want it? Uh, brand new headliner brand new visors. It, well, I'll show you the engine bay. This thing's original down to the date-coated radiator. Super original, and uh, I'll start it up for you and let you hear it run. Well, come take a look. Hope you can hear it. She's running right now. It's a very smooth little motor. Uh, not much noise. Let's go take it for a test drive. Just something women like about a pickup man. Here we are out for a test drive. Nice, tight, crisp shifts. This truck is really a joy to drive. Drive it with one hand. No vibration, just a super smooth old truck. This truck is a lot of fun to drive. Um, you can take off in second gear. It does have the granny gear, which uh, you could use that too if you needed it. But most of the time the granny gear is not necessary, so you just take off in second. Um, I love the gearing on the truck. It does have a updated uh, gear set in the rear end so you can go highway speeds and that makes a big difference in these old trucks. You'll find the ones with the original gears really weren't meant to be driven more, much more than the 45 to 50 range. Not so with this truck. You can uh, get out there and run 55, 65 all day long. The motor is not over revving and it's torquey. These 235s had a lot of torque. Uh, good strong motors and uh, bulletproof. Chevrolet had been building this motor some years and uh, knew what they were doing and this one's fresh. It's been gone through. Gearbox has been gone through. It shifts really nice, really tight and crisp shifts. Uh, the instrument cluster is brand new. All the gauges are reading nice and accurately. It's got great oil pressure. Uh, mechanically, super truck. You got blinkers, you got a horn, you got wipers, you got a heater. Everything's been uh, addressed in the restoration and it is uh, as nice a driver as you could want. Lots of fun to drive. It's got uh, a lot of effort went into making this a superior driving experience to the original one. This one has modern day radials. In fact, they're the American Classic Series, which is the best, in my opinion, the best white wall out there. Uh, higher rating than the typical white wall sold by Coker, uh, both speed and uh, on quality rating. 
Also, it has um, some suspension upgrades. It has uh, aftermarket sway bars available through Brothers, designed specifically for this truck. They make a big difference. I've got the back one on. I haven't put the front one on yet. I sent the gearbox off to CPP, uh, and it's been completely rebuilt. Makes a super difference. As you can see, I'm, I'm driving this thing with one hand, and there's no slack in the steering whatsoever, which is unheard of in these old trucks but it really does steer like a new one, new in 59. Makes a big difference. These things are not much fun to drive if they don't have um, a rebuilt steering box and some new technology, and this one has both. And I love driving it. You'll love driving it. It gets a lot of attention. And for a 1959 pickup truck, uh, it's surprisingly nice. In fact, better than any 59 I've ever been in. I think you'll love it.